Hey my friends, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul. This is Cindy. Our channel is High Seas Paul and Cindy. Check out our social media and if we can help you with the cruise guys, let us know. First thing we want to get into, do we make a big mistake booking this Tracy Arm excursion? So we're going to get into that and Cindy, you got some info? Yeah, just make sure guys that you check our on our channel. We do, have done lots of Carnival Luminosa vlogs, all the ports we went to, a ship review, cabin review, and then we did some first bites. Absolutely. And we're doing reviews on all these excursions yeah. that we did because they're so pricey. Now the Tracy Arm excursion is the most, you know, probably sought after, sells out really quick. Right. A lot of people say, you know, oh, we hear you can see the glacier from the ship and back and forth. And we're here to let you know if it's worth your hard earned money. So stay tuned and we're gonna get into it guys. So first off, I want to talk about the time of year. We went at the very beginning of May and it was really cold, almost snow showers up to a few days before we went. So, but when we got there, the weather was beautiful in Seattle. It was like 75, 80 degrees every day. It was in the 60s in Alaska, but it was the first time it warmed up. So the glaciers didn't quite start breaking off yet. So we could only get into one cove there in last year when we did Tracy Arm on Royal on Ovation of the Sea, we went in, I'd say the second week of June and the weather had been warm for, you know, almost a month. So there was glaciers floating by everywhere, which was really cool because the ship was breaking them up as you go by and we were seeing a lot of wildlife. So this year was a completely different experience. The glaciers were still pretty solid. So, we didn't see a lot of things in the water when we first woke up because I remember last year, Paul, on the uh, Royal uh, Ovation of the Seas, we got up at 5 a.m. and we went out on our balcony and it was just like beautiful. Right. This year, it was kind of different. Yeah, absolutely, Cindy. And a lot of, we brought a lot of first time cruisers on there and they were expecting to see a lot of floating glaciers and, and all that. So keep in mind, guys, you can't control the weather. You no. can't control Mother Nature. So this, you know, excursion could vary. This year, you know, we didn't really go through any ice. I think we only saw maybe four or five, uh, you know. Glaciers in the water. Yeah, glaciers in the water. We saw some seals. Mm -hmm. So that was a bit disappointing because last year we really regretted not doing it when we sat there on Royal and you know, we were watching the little boat go through all the glaciers and beautiful. had all those beautiful crystal blue colors on there with wildlife floating on it. This year it was a lot more laid back on that. And again, you know, there was, some people felt a little disappointed on it, but I would feel that you'd be disappointed if you didn't do it. Well, the price range on Carnival is a little bit cheaper than Royal. So remember that guys. So if you go on Carnival, it's a little bit cheaper. And remember guys, we meet in deck two, we get on this little boat and we just go off. Right, yeah, and uh, we did see a little bit of wildlife. Okay. So let's talk about some of the lows on the excursion. Sure. I would say some of the lows are in our uh, boat that we went on, 
we went on the early, early morning one because it's not supposed to be as busy and as crowded mm -hmm. if it doesn't sell out, which it wasn't completely sold out, no. surprisingly. Now, the second one was. So it's pretty crowded, all in all. Yeah. I will say it's pretty crowded. Uh, you got to get up to your spot, get a good spot early because people are putting up tripods and cameras everywhere and nobody's going to move for you yeah. after they got their shot. They're not probably going to let you in there. Yeah. So the great thing is, though, on a positive note, that the captain does turn the boat around yeah. so everybody gets a chance to see everything. We saw a whale. We yeah. got the, she spun it around for the iceberg for us. We saw a goat, a couple eagles, eagles, stuff like that. And I would say the narration was really, really good. I really good. enjoyed that yeah. too. And again, guys, there's always somebody on there telling you the what side to look at. And again, like what Paul said, the captain will actually rotate the boat. So you guys will see, even if you're not in the best spot, you right. will still see stuff. Now let's keep in mind here, as far as the cruise ship goes on the Luminosa, they do have a um, what a naturalist, naturalist that walks around and she tells everybody where to look on this ship. But you were quite a bit closer to the wildlife. You could get much closer. You could hear the waterfalls a little bit more intense. Now, our cabin was on the fifth deck. I still don't think we could hear everything that we hear, you know, heard and that we could see and experience on that little boat. Yeah, unfortunately, when she's on the Carnival Luminosa on Pi on Deck 10, she only talks in the hallways. Her voice comes in the hallways and maybe on the top decks. They right. don't go inside the cabin. So if you're inside the cabin getting ready or just sitting in your balcony, I think you might miss that. Right. So you could kind of see the glacier, and that's been the biggest question that people have asked me, that they hear that you can see the glacier from there. You kind of can with binoculars and stuff like that, but it's still not nearly as close. And I still, even though ours was a bit of a low at our particular time of the year when we went, I still felt that it was a much better experience. Yes. Now, you know, keep in mind that the following week, because we follow all the Facebook groups generally on every cruise, like one or two before and a few after. So the very next Facebook cruise, they could not go because it got so warm so fast there was so much ice in the water that they couldn't even get the boats in there yes so it's a blessing that it worked out for us we didn't get quite the experience we were looking for but i would say cindy if it's in your budget yes. i say it's something you got to do you have to try it once i would say that we regretted not doing it last yeah. year when we went on royal and that's kind of why we took the same itinerary this year that we did last year mm -hmm. so we actually i felt like i missed out by not doing it last year and i really think guys if you can do it do it you know i know a lot of people say oh you can almost see the same and you know the ship in a little boat but you know if it's a bucket list cruise you don't want to leave with any regrets and i think last year i regretted not doing it I, we regretted I, not yes. doing it we were very like when we were on the ovation of the seas we looked down like what's that we right. should have did that we didn't know anything about right. it so. and really there's nothing else to do no so it is it is a bit pricey most people in our group kind of freaked out about the price a little bit but overall i still felt it was a good value because Again, guys, I'm going to talk about fuel costs. That boat comes all the way from Juneau to meet up at the... So there's a lot of expense there to do this. And, you know, there's, like I said, our number one question on our vlogs yes. and reviews has been, is it worth it? I'm going to say it's worth it. I'm going to go as far to give it a 4.5 star experience. And we're going to rate it one through five. What, what would you give it, Cindy? I say a four. You got to at least try it once. Again, if you don't do it, no worries, guys. You can still be on this ship. Yeah, you can still see, and especially if you're on the Luminosa. Yeah, there's that's a great place, a great ship sure. to to see everything. But it's just not quite the same experience, is no. it? I mean, when you're on that little boat on the excursion, I mean, there's like the bottom deck. It have big windows right. on this little boat, and if you go to the second deck, there's a part half that's uh, inside. The other part's outside. Right. So you can do both. And then the third deck is on the very, very top, which is totally outside. Right. And so now we've done it. And yeah. I feel I feel satisfied now. I feel that next year I don't need to do that 
excursion or I don't need to do that itinerary. I can move on to something else. And that's the big thing why we're doing these reviews that let you guys know if it's worth your money, worth your time. And I really think you guys should do it because I really feel you will you will regret if you didn't do it. And the it. price uh, range was about maybe close to two hundred thirty dollars. Two twenty nine to yeah. be exact. And then I mean they did offer hot chocolate coffee and some donut donuts. Bowls. I mean, yeah. to me, if you're it's out of your budget, don't worry, guys. Just do it on the ship. Yeah, enjoy your experience. If you're wanting to put your money somewhere yes. else this and that but the ship fall us the whole way until yeah. we actually went into the glacier little um, right. area so you're still going right. to see everything we saw and we had some pretty good binoculars and yeah. pretty good zoom you can kind of see it where last year we really couldn't see it when we were on royal so this year i don't know if it's a little smaller ship but you could kind of see it from the oh, ship Marissa. but it just wasn't quite the same <laughs> but all in all i'm going to recommend this excursion and i think you will regret it if you don't do it yeah as we did do it one time guys at least yeah. try it one time yeah at least one time and make your own opinion and most people may only go to alaska once in their lifetime so you don't want to miss out on any good excursions or opportunities because if the weather's you know and the glaciers are going right you're going to get a really really neat experience where it was pretty much frozen solid and it wasn't really dropping in the water mm -hmm. is what i was hoping to see but yeah. i'm still good with it so next we've got some more reviews coming out and a lot of great vlogs guys and if you can join us on the high seas friends facebook page yes. and we look forward to seeing everybody out there anything else you want to add no. cindy we and again we enjoyed this excursion and we recommend it all right thank you for watching guys We'll see you on the high seas. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.